Hello again, a very warm welcome to you all. My name is Denny K. Here today with a bottle of Morris whiskey. This is their signature. I've really been looking forward to sitting down with this whiskey here with you because I visited the winery a few years ago with my wife during one of the lockdowns. So we had an ease of restrictions, visited Brother Glen. This was the second last winery that I visited at the time. They told me that they had a whiskey that was going to be released very, very shortly. I wasn't able to try it at the time. I did though work through all of their um, fortifieds and some of the whites there as well. So I certainly made the most of my time in Rutherglen. I've been looking forward um, to sitting down with this one with you because I think that it is a rather good whiskey, especially at the price point. They're very serious about making good whiskey. Um, obviously, enlisting folks like John McDougall, Darren Peck, and also the late Jim Swan to, um, to make sure that they're doing the right thing. When you have been around for 150 odd years and you have access to very good quality fortified casks, yes, you should absolutely put whiskey in them. So, the right move there, great for us as well. Now, this one here is a non age statement bold at 40% ABV. Now, it it was so the maturation, a mixture of fortified casks, and then also a finishing period in musket casks here as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through smell, taste, overall experience, give it a score. So let's do just that. I should actually say um, that you should subscribe to the channel, like, share, do all those things, comment, whatever you want to do. Now let's do it. Okay, so the nose, and I'm using my blender's glass here because it is only 40% ABV. If you have used a blender's glass before, use it regularly, you know exactly why I'm doing that. If you have not, you should experience it and you know exactly why. You'll be very impressed. Now, okay, citrus notes coming through to begin with. Yes, absolutely. Mainly lemon, a little bit of orange, cereal, quite malty, some honey, yes. Marzipan, then comes some fruit. Now, more fruit, some pear, some really, really waxy apple, followed by some chalk, and also some cherry. So, quite interesting to begin with, right? ABV. I really wish. I'm not going to go on a tangent. I love it to be cast strength. Anyway, it's not. Apples, yes, absolutely. Some oranges, it's creamy. A little bit of orange gelato. Creamy custard, yes. Multi cereal, so they're fantastic. It works very, very well. The finish, and I'm not sure if that high ABV will just really carry through the flavors a little bit more. The finish is short to medium type of finish. Vanilla, caramel, and a bit for finish. Easy sipping whiskey. So I actually prefer this than the musket. For me, I actually think that it's better balanced and it works better. Um, for me, they've come out with a smoked something or rather which I've not tried based on the feedback that I received it probably should have just been a peated whiskey. I won't comment on that because I've not tried it. This is the one that I'm trying. I like it. I think it is absolutely a whiskey that has been very well put together. I would love to try this when it comes straight out of the cast because I think that it would be absolutely exceptional. I give this a solid seven out of 10. I say solid seven out of 10 because I think it is a very, very, very well put together whiskey. They absolutely know what they're doing. That goes without saying. It is at 40% ABV, but it is accessible. The price point obviously um, shows that it's an easy sipping whiskey. This is the sort of whiskey that if I have somebody who comes to visit me and they're not necessarily an absolute whiskey nerd and I'd like to give them a easy drinking, pleasant Australian whiskey to go for, this is what I would give them because it is very un-Australian, I guess you could say in, in that sense, right? In terms of the character and the profile. 
I like it. As I said, this is not my first bottle, so I think it's a rather good whiskey. Absolutely continue to buy it. If this was to ever to come out at a higher ABV, I would recommend you jump on it. I recommend you buy this anyway to try it because I think it's rather good anyway. We'll leave it at that. Try to keep them rather short and sharp. So if you don't already subscribe, I said it earlier, you should absolutely do so. Other than that, really appreciate the time you've taken to join me. So thank you very much. Cheers to you. Till next time.